All right, you guys, so right now I'm using the brand new Six Sense Axle Swinging Jig. This, this is a 3 8 ounce uh, candy gill pattern, as you can see right here. It's got a better shot. I caught an unidentified object. It's plastic, but I don't know what it is. Oh, no. Anyways, so uh, you guys, so that's a nice EWG hook right there. As you can see, you twist it on. Let me get the skirts out of the way. You twist it on right there, and then you just apply the hook like it's a Texas rig, just like that. Skirts all over, and then you... It swings around too, which is really cool, you guys. It's really, it's really gonna be nice when it's bouncing on the bottom. But yeah, you guys. So we're gonna be mimicking bluegill today. I'm currently using a Stroker Craw as a trailer from Six Sense. Uh, Green Pumpkin Burst, great way to mimic uh, bluegills, you guys. So let's see how this goes. It's my first time using a jig in a long time. Well, in a long time. I haven't used a jig. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I don't, think I, I don't think I've used it during the summer, but here I am using it right now. Let's see how it looks. It's a little murky. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. We're just fishing by the structure right here. Uh, I just wanted to just do a, little nice, do a nice little review for this uh, jig, catch a couple or a few bass, and call it you guys. And just to get another video out there for you guys. It's been a while. I mean, I got a new job and all, and just, you know, life's been really busy, so... But I'm finally back, you guys. We're gonna try to catch some bass. Oh, right there, you guys. Oh, there you go. First bass on the on the axle swinging jig, you guys. This is a pretty good bass too. Oh man, right there. Round and toe. Look at that hook set right on top of the mouth. Oh my gosh, you guys. Nice little chunky bass. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, you guys. We're gonna get them unhooked and put them back. All right, you guys, that's so awesome. First one on the on the jig, brand new jig for you guys. I like it so far. We're gonna keep going. We're probably just gonna... Oh, my buddy's got one too. No, oh. no. <laughs> Dude, it was a good size one too. Oh, I, it looks like it. Well, let's keep going, dude. Uh. Oh, that's another one right there, you guys. Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah, there you go. Bass number two, back to back. On the axle jig, you guys, this is great. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is a better one, too. Let's go, you guys. I mean, I just had it sitting on the bottom for a bit, and I felt some pick it up. Well, actually, this is a bit smaller, but I'll take them either way, you guys. But just right in the open right there, just kind of on the bottom, just chilling for a bit, slowly moving it, and then boom, he just picked it up, you guys. Cool, you guys. Let's get him unhooked and put him back. All right, you guys, so I'm back home. I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. So that fishing footage was from yesterday. I did go fishing with a buddy of mine. It's been the first time in a while, it seems like, and almost probably two weeks since I last posted a video. But um, here it is right here, you guys. You know, I just feel like making a video for you guys since it's been a while. You know, I finally had some free time yesterday to, you know, capture two bass in my brand new Six Sense Axer swinging jig. It's an awesome jig with a swinging head with a nice EWBG hook. And the pattern I was using was called Candy Gill. It's an awesome bluegill pattern, you know, imitation. I do have it, have it in the bed in my, in my truck with my, you know, setup. I'm, I'm gonna grab that after this video, obviously. But I just wanna say you guys, uh, you know, thank you so much for, for watching my videos. I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting. You know, all the new subs, uh, subscribers and the new likes and comments and all. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, uh, it has been a while since I last put, posted a video. I do apologize for that, but uh, the reason for that is because you know I did get a new job recently and all. I've just been you know busy, you know, learning the ropes and all, and just getting the hang of it and stuff. But um, besides that, you guys, you know, you know, life's been really good. I've just been really busy and all, just taking care of some of some stuff. But I'm finally back, you guys, with a brand new video. It wasn't a, a much. It wasn't really that much, you know. I mean, I just fished, you know, probably like for an hour or two by that structure, you know, caught about two bass. My buddy did catch one bass on his rooster tail. It was a nice, and pretty, a decent, small, little chunky bass. But uh, I didn't catch that on video. But it, it was kind of after uh, I was catching those bass on the on the jig, you guys. But it's an awesome jig. Uh, I do like six cents uh, lures a lot. Out, you know, I just and I finally decided to try out their new brand new uh, six cents uh, axle swinging jig. Uh, it's an awesome jig, you guys. I do recommend it, especially for like six cents lures. Um, anyway, so I do have some lures that I uh, that I want to use in the future. Coming up, you guys, and also if you're new to this channel, I definitely would recommend subscribing, you know, for fishing content and you know for, for some more lure uh, reviews and all. Because I, I like doing uh, I like doing you know testing out and doing reviews on you know soft plastics and hard baits and all you know all kinds of lures, you guys. So if that's what you're looking for, you guys, this is definitely the right channel for you. You know, it's an awesome fishing channel. I will be adding some gaming content coming up, you guys. We do have some Minecraft uh, videos, a lot of Minecraft videos coming up, you guys. So just be prepared for that. Be, be prepared for that coming up. 
this is still a fishing channel, but you know, just over time, just let me all know. Over time, you know, every now and then I'll be I'll be uploading like a, some you know gaming content. I just you know gotta find, gotta uh, my but a few buddies of mine have told me a really really cool uh, screen recording uh app. I forgot what it's called, but you can get it on the desktop. And so I'm gonna try that out in a second. But um, anyways, you guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the lures that I'm gonna be using in future videos. So it has a cold front did come through, so it has been pretty chilly, and the and the fishing has been kind of slow recently. So. I do have with me a nice uh, six cents finesse squirrel bit squirrel bill. This is called the curve. Like I said, it's an awesome. It's, as you can see right here, it's a finesse squirrel bill. It dives three to uh, three to one to three feet. It's a three eighth, three eighth ounce so lure. I like that a lot, you guys. I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. And the lure that I finally got that I've been wanting for a little while. This is awesome, you guys. This is the hog walla from Six Cents. Here it is right here, the hog walla. It's an awesome. You know, it, it should remind me of the trench hog and the and the brush hog from you know Google Baits and, and uh, Zoom. This is pretty similar, you guys. It's an awesome cr uh, creature style, you know, hybrid creature style bait. Definitely a great way to mimic uh, lizards, you guys. I cannot wait to use this. I mean, let, let me know what you guys think of this lure, but I I know this is gonna be one of my favorites. I also have a lot more with me right here. Let's let me unconnect that. It's, I got a lure stuck on another one. Nice little uh, 106 X jerk bait. You know, I did make a video with this, you know, before, and I, I absolutely love this jerk bait. It's it's my favorite jerk bait in the market, you guys, and I definitely recommend it. I've caught a lot of you know big you know big bass with this uh, lure, you guys, and I, I I did I did make a video a, a few months ago covering this lure. It's awesome, you guys. This is a six a six cents 106 X uh, jerk bait. I recommend it, you guys. Six cents is awesome. And then I do have some right here, you know, since it's you know fall. Chillier weather's coming up, you know, they're gonna start feeding on the shad, you know, heavily to get ready for the winter. Got some, you know, I got some two iconic red eye shads. This is a two tap version. I'm using the natural, sh this is the natural shad pattern right here. It has more of a tense, you know, rattling sound than the traditional uh, red eye shad. This is the lavender shad right here, but definitely gonna be using those in the future. And then, of course, we have the Six Cents Vega Frogs. Those are coming up, you guys. I got Black, uh, you know, Black Magic. I got Shad Spawn. Got Baby Bluegill, and I got Baby Bullfrog. I can't wait to use these in the future. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't get too cold, so I can still fish top water. And I do have my Pop and Purges right here. Pop and Perch, the Natural Blue Pumpkin Seed, Green Pumpkin Gill, and then uh, I think this is White Shadow. It's an awesome, you know, Shad and Baitfish imitation, you guys. But I do love the pattern on the on the Pumpkin Seed. That looks so awesome, you guys. And then. Finish it off, you guys. We have the, you know, the pipsqueak versions, the natural chartreuse, the natural shad, and then the, the bluegill. I do love the bluegill. This is my favorite pattern. I did make a video just a few weeks ago covering this lure, and I did catch about, I think, like three bass on it. I do recommend it, you guys. It's an awesome finesse style, especially if you're trying to downsize and go more finesse. I do, you know, would recommend looking at the uh, pipsqueak pop and put you guys. And I can't wait to use the natural shad, you guys. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to be using this with, you know, uh, the... The Strike King, a red-eye shad. I mean, you know, both of these lures are from Strike King. Oh, let me get it unhooked. Same pattern, you guys. Natural shad. You will be seeing both in, in, a, in a video one day coming up, you guys, pretty soon. But um, anyways, that's pretty much all for today. Just one more thing. I, I still have my giveaway going on. My huge 1,000 subscriber uh, fishing lure giveaway. So all the lures right here, not including the water bottle and, you know, not including the stuff right here. Just the lures in the center right here. Um, all you got to do is uh, you just got to watch the full video. I'm going to post that link down below. You just got to watch that video. You got to like the video. You got to make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And then you got to comment down below what kind, what color lure that you want me to use for future videos. But like I said, you guys, I'll post that link down below for the description for you, for you, for you guys to, to look into, you guys. But anyways, it's a pretty sunny day. As you can see right there, you know, it's, it's a little chillier now. Now the fall is here down here in Texas. Uh, hopefully it stays pretty cool. And, you know, I'm tired of the mosquitoes and the heat. But, um... Yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I did have fun, you know, making this video for you guys because, you know, like I said, it's been a long time, but, you know, it's finally here and I'm finally back, you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for the support and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, you guys. Have a good one.